I can explain. What's going on guys? Welcome to Rob's house. A Little bit of a bittersweet day today, but it's gonna be a cool project and I think it's gonna turn out good. Today, unfortunately, we are unwrapping the Corvette. So the Corvette wrap has been on the car for three seasons now, about two and a half years, three summers worth of driving, couple road trips, actually held up okay. Um, there's just, there's a couple of small spots. It's kind of actually hard to show it in, in this lighting, but there's a couple small spots on the on the front bumper where the red's poking through from some rock chips. There's the door jam in here, like the insert that I have inside of here starting to peel, like little stuff like that, that it was just like, you know, it's time to rewrap this car or I had a better idea. So let's get this car taken apart, unwrapped, and ready for its new look. And then I'll tell you guys exactly what's coming soon because we're dropping this car off somewhere tomorrow for quite a big transformation. Let's get started. Now, let's rewind. Two and a half years ago, spring of 2021, I wrapped this car, what I call bronze disease camo. If you don't know what bronze disease is, go look up, uh, just Google it. It's like when a penny or anything made of bronze starts to corrode, it gets this greenish tinge to it. So since I was using bronze and green, right, that's where I came up with the name. Anyway, I loved how it turned out. The car looked awesome. I don't really care what anyone else thought. I thought it looked cool. It was different. I'd seen a bunch of camo wrap Corvettes before, but not in that kind of color combo. The closest thing would probably be a Woodlands camo, AKA the Dolph camo that ACW does. Shout out to Justin, which looks dope. Don't get me wrong, but I wanted more. I wanted something that was like louder, that would pop kind of the Woodlands camo. It's all satin colors, darker green, darker, like brown, right? Like very, um, more to a true camo. I wanted mine to be like more of like an ironic camo, like it's camo, but you see it from a mile away kind of thing. So anyway, I wrapped this car and it came out great. I mean, honestly, it came out great. It lasted a really long time, but I was starting to get little rock chips from, cause I drive the car a lot, as you guys know. I was starting to get little rock chips here and there and uh, was starting to see some of the red if you were up close. The the wrap was just kind of starting to look a little sloppy. I drive the car a lot and it's been on there for three seasons. I mean, I really couldn't have asked for more. The film did its job. I re-upped it with the G-Technic uh, halo coating every year. And you know, maintain the wrap decently well as best I could. I still got compliments on it, honestly. People were like, wow, that's been on there for three years. Like it looks great, you know, whatever. Um, but I was starting to notice stuff. You, you guys know how it is. When it's your car, you start to notice stuff. And once you notice it, you can't unsee it. So it was starting to drive me a little bit insane. And I decided to talk to Roger and Alex over at Colors on Parade. I'm sure you guys can probably guess where this is going. Tomorrow, we drop the Corvette off to get painted. I'm gonna do this in one big video, so if you guys just wanna see the finished product, you can skip to the end of the video, but if you wanna see the process, they're gonna do some time lapses, I'm gonna do some time lapses, putting the camo back on, and you can see this thing really come back to life in its new form. Now, I'll give you the spoiler alert, the color that I chose as the base color uh, that, that the car's gonna get painted 
is carbon flash metallic. Now, what is carbon flash metallic? For those of you who don't know, who aren't Corvette people or you know have never owned a GM vehicle before, carbon flash metallic is the color that my mirrors are painted. It's this color right here. You probably can't see it that well because the lighting in here is not very good, but it's basically like a super dark gray or like an off black with a lot of metallic flake in it. Uh, other spots on the car that have this color, like the uh, vents on the rear quarter panels are carbon flash. The vents on the side where it says Z06 on the car, carbon flash. So I'm gonna have the whole car painted carbon flash. Now they never offered the C7, at least to my knowledge, they never offered the C7 in carbon flash metallic. They had the anniversary edition C6, the centennial edition, that came in carbon flash metallic. Uh, my friend Matt Aragon has that all over his car and it looks awesome. And uh, I think they did an anniversary edition C8 where they offered that as one of the paint colors. Um, but they've been using this color for a long time on all the accent pieces. So basically whenever you see a Corvette with black plastic pieces or like the air, where their arrow is not carbon fiber, where they have just black plastic arrow, uh, it's painted carbon flash. So now, all that just to say, how did I come to choose this color? Well, actually, funnily enough, this was the color that was the inspiration for the base color of the wrap to begin with, which was uh, Avery Dennison uh, Satin Black Rock Gray, I think is what it's called, uh, which is basically the darkest gray they make. And it was the closest, when I was flipping through the card swatches, which are like these little sample, little sample packs with all the different wrap colors, when I was flipping through that, that was the closest color I could find to Carbon Flash. So I was like, I'm gonna wrap the car that color, and do the cam over top. I didn't know if I would like it or like if, I, I knew I, I was pretty confident I would like it, but it was like, am I gonna get sick of it? You know, whatever. And I just came to the realization that I really like the color scheme. I really like the camo pattern. And honestly, I think even if I were to take the camo off and just have an all Carbon Flash car, I think it would look really mean, very Batmobile-esque. Also goes really well with the, uh, my hood is carbon fiber. I didn't unwrap the hood because the hood is carbon fiber and the roof is carbon fiber. So that's staying. And I'm gonna put the camo back on at the end of the video anyway. So the camo stays, whatever. I don't, I actually wrapped that pretty recently when I got that hood. So all that just to say, I really liked how the car came out and how it's looked for the last couple of years. And I wanted to do a more permanent solution uh, that wouldn't be subjected to like every little rock chip, you know, resulting in some weird color poking through, in this case, red. Red's not really my thing. I, I actually like this red the best out of all the reds that they offer the C7. There were three different ones. They had torch red. This one's called crystal red tint coat. And then there was another one called uh, Long Beach Red. And I actually like this one the best, but red's just not really my color. So I'm okay with red accents and stuff like that. I have the red stripe on the Viper or whatever, but like an all red Corvette just kind of screams boomer to me. Like it's not, I don't know, it's just not my style. So this is fine if you have, listen, if you have a red Corvette, that's cool. I'm not trying to be a hater. Uh, it just, it, it's just like, it's just not me. It's not, it, it's just not my, not the look I like. Green's my favorite color. You know, I rocked the red for the first year that I owned this car. Uh, with red underglow and stuff. I got sick of it pretty quickly. I, I gave it a chance to see if it would grow on me. Honestly, it just didn't grow on me and I just don't like it. And I have no plans to ever sell this car. I really, really, really like this car. I don't owe any money on it. And I say I own it, like I actually own it. And I drive it all the time. I freaking love this car. Everyone asks me, if you, if you had to drive one car for the rest of your life, what car would it be? This one, no doubt in my mind. No question. I grew up, listen, Viper was my dream car growing up. I grew up just, oh, someday I'm gonna give it a Viper someday. Wasn't much of a Corvette guy. I liked them, I thought they were cool, but wasn't like my aspirational goal or anything like that. And then I got one and this car is just so good that I just don't see myself ever giving it up. I don't. Not unless someone crashes into me and totals it or something. And even then I'll probably get another one. I don't care about resale value. I don't really care what repainting this does to resell value. Yes, there'll be certain spots I'm sure like kind of underneath the headlights and stuff where if you were to disassemble the car, you'd be like, oh, this car used to be red. Like that's fine. I really don't care. I trust the guys over at Colors on Parade. They've done enough stuff for me, especially my Viper hood. They really knocked that out of the park. So I hit them up and I said, hey, can I get a quote to do a full paint job? on my Corvette. First of all, would you be willing to do it? And second of all, what would you want for it? They said, hell yeah, we want to do it and gave me a price that they're hooking it up. Let's just say, let's just say that. So I'm super appreciative of those guys. I want to make sure I give them a shout out. Uh, I'm going to put their 
Uh, I'm gonna put their Instagram handles in the description as well or whatever other social media that they want me to link. I'll talk to them tomorrow. Uh, I just wanna make sure that whatever limited reach I do have with, I don't know, what, whatever I have, 1,500, 1,600 subscribers, uh, that I can use it to promote them because they do great work and I'm appreciative of, of the quality of their work and them being willing to work with me and giving me such a good price to paint the car. So I just wanted to give them a shout out, say thanks to them, uh, which of course I'll thank them in person tomorrow as well, but I just wanted it to be known that I'm appreciative and I'm looking forward to it. So I hope you guys like it. I'll stop droning on, let's drop this thing off for paint and uh, let's get this thing back in action, let's go. What's going on guys? We're here over on Colors on Parade with the boys. The homies, they're bringing out some of the parts that they, uh, they've they already sprayed for me. You can see the uh, front bumper and look at all that lake. This is gonna look absolutely insane when it's done. Carbon flash metallic on the entire car. And uh, by spring, we'll have the camo back on it and we'll be ready to roll. Did the uh, quarter panels too, looking awesome. Hope this comes through on video okay. I'm trying to get the right angle on the sun so you can see all the sparkly metallic going on. Oh, we got a stink bug chilling. What's up, buddy? Big, big, big shout out to these guys over here. Colors on Parade in Knoxville, right on, right here on Kingston Pike. If you guys need anything done, these are the guys to hit up. Let me tell you, quality work, great turnaround time, really good people, highly recommend. And uh, we'll come back and check out the remainder of the stuff once it's uh, once it's all sprayed. Car's chilling over here, all covered up. And I'll come back and uh, show you guys the uh, final finished product once everything's sprayed and cleared and everything. Uh, they wanted me to come today and make sure that the color looked good, uh, which it's a GM paint code, so I knew it would be fine. But just wanted to confirm, and they're gonna. Finish spraying everything else, lay some clear down, and we'll show you guys the finished product. Guys, we're back, and the Corvette's done. It's been sitting for two full months, uh, just letting the paint cure. I wanted to make sure that it was all good to go before we put the vinyl on it. Uh, as you can see, I've started replacing the camo wrap. Uh, there's no more base color wrap. Let's see if I can show it on camp. So the, the, ignore these scuffs, the car's still a little dirty. Um, I've just been uh, alcohol wiping the panels as I go, but you can see the new color. Carbon flash metallic. 
on the entire car. The car is no longer red. If you see if I open the door here, they did the jams, the inside of the door, everything. No more red. And it looks incredible. I am super, super stoked about this. Again, shout out to the guys at Colors on Parade, Roger and Alex. They did an incredible job on the car. Uh, now, in the interest of not making this video extremely long and having a bunch of time lapses that take a bunch of time, let's uh, speed through this wrap. I am so tired. I've been putting this thing back together literally all day, but I am really happy with how it turned out. I gotta put the badges on still, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. Looks pretty sick. And uh, let's fast forward again and get some shots of this thing all cleaned up in the sunlight. Check it out. Champion. Well guys, I told you I would get her nice and cleaned up for the final montage. I hope you guys enjoyed that. The car came out awesome. I wanna give a big shout out to my dudes at Colors on Parade for helping me make this happen. She's all good to go for the season. Uh, as you saw in the montage, we are supporting not just the channel with our fresh logo made by Redline Enthusiasts, but we are also rocking Colors on Parade let everybody know that's who helps make this vision a reality. And guys, just look at the paint. Today's the perfect day where you can really, I hope this comes through on camera, but you can really see all that flake in the paint. It just looks awesome. Really, really cool. I love how it came out. I think it looks, you know, it looks similar to what the old wrap was, except I think the base color is a little more aggressive now. You can kind of see the, uh, the sparkles and stuff and uh yeah overall i'm just i'm pumped i i think it came out seriously awesome you know as usual let me know what you guys think in the comments this was a big job but this is a permanent change now for the corvette i knew i was never going to go back to the red so you know we got that done and by the way they did paint like for example inside of the like under the hood where the fender comes in and bolts down they painted all that they painted my uh the inside portion of my trunk in here you can't see it right now but that is painted and of course if you look the door jams are all painted as well the inside of the doors they took the doors off and painted that so this is what a full color change done the right way looks like big shout out to those guys like i said i mean this this came out so good and their turnaround time was pretty sick too, to be honest with you. Those guys are quick. Customer service is great. They're such they're just a bunch of nice dudes. They're 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 all brothers that work there. While the paint was curing, I noticed there were like these little sort of like pinholes, I guess, in the paint. And they came over, they actually can't brought they have a mobile van, they brought it to my house, like filled in all those little dots and whatever, wet sanded and buffed it, made it like nice and smooth. You know, really made sure that like they followed up with me, made sure that I was happy with it, made sure that it looked good, made sure that all that stuff was addressed. And they told me, of course, if I notice anything in the future, as I'm sort of going over the car, just bring it to the shop and they're happy to fix it if, if there's any imperfection. I haven't really found anything though, honestly. There were one or two little touch up spots that I had to do, but that was my own fault. Uh, like, for example, when I reattached this quarter panel, I kind of 
rubbed, you can't see it because it's on the inside of the door sill, but I kind of rubbed that a little bit there and that was kind of my own fault. I chipped a little bit of the paint, so I just put a little bit of touch up paint. They gave me, they gave me some of the, um, some of the extra paint in a, in a little touch up bottle. So, you know, little tiny little dings and stuff like that. I have the touch up paint for that came from the same can that was used to spray this car, which is kind of awesome. So, uh, you know, I know it'll match perfectly and everything. You know, this video is a long time in the making because I had to wait the full two months for this to cure so that, you know, we could, uh, put the vinyl back on safely, make sure the clear coat completely hardened before putting any vinyl on it. Uh, I do still need to put the ceramic coat on it. We just tore the car apart this past weekend to uh, put some better lifters in it, which was just preventative maintenance. But you know, we had the engine torn down and all that stuff. So it was one thing after another, getting it ready for the season, but she's good to go now. I'm gonna clean her up at home, throw the ceramic coat on, and we're just gonna send it all year. Now the downside to this, of course, for the channel is I don't know how much content I'm gonna make with this car <laughs> because it's it's so good the way that it is. I don't really wanna mess with it anymore. That doesn't mean that we're not gonna have content. It just might not be with this Corvette. So I'll leave it at that. We've got a bunch of stuff coming up with the Viper. Stay tuned for that. That's gonna be super exciting. We've got a bunch of truck stuff now that I bought the F-150. I'm really excited to start modifying that thing. I have a stack of parts uh, in my new shop waiting to be installed. Um, and we got a little something something coming from the Mustang too. So we're gonna have plenty of content this year. Of course, we're gonna do car shows. We're gonna do, you know, Harper's Cars and Coffee, maybe make it out to a Nashville Cars and Coffee at some point. Those are always really good. Chattanooga Cars and Coffee, et cetera, et cetera. So we're still gonna get that content. I'm sure you'll see the Corvette in those videos. Uh, but I think that about wraps it up for the modifications on the Corvette, assuming that nothing goes wrong with it, which I don't think it will. Uh, the car has been dead reliable the whole time that I've owned it. This really is my favorite car that I've that I've ever owned. I, I mean, I, I love this thing. It's so much fun. It sounds amazing. It looks amazing. It's a blast to drive. It's comfortable. You know, it just does everything well. So I kind of just don't really want to mess with it anymore. Um, so I hope that's not too disappointing for you guys, but it's gonna, it's gonna stay the way it is. Now, of course, if I do any maintenance items, uh, like for example, my hood release lever is partially broken. So I might replace that at some point. Maybe I'll do a video on that. Like, you know, maintenance stuff. I'll still do videos if I'm doing things to the car, but it's just gonna slow down with this particular car because I think she's just good the way she is. I don't think we really need to mess with it anymore. I'm really happy with it. Again, thank you to my dudes at Colors on Parade. We'll be doing plenty more with them in the future. Definitely going back uh, whenever I need any kind of paint work done. And uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. As usual, hope this video is entertaining and I'll see you guys next time.